Marshall and this is another Free Thinkers interview. Today we're at Red Bull Sound Select, three days in Philly, and we're sitting here with Raven Lene. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm blessed. I'm very good. How I heard you? your sound check yeah. and you sounded amazing. Thank you. <laughs> That's my crusty voice. Crusty? <laughs> <laughs> No, sort of. I've been kind of half sleep all day, but mm -hmm. uh, I had a nine hour drive. So I'm just like. You drove here? Yeah. You just bring I've been on tour, so <laughs> okay. like, you okay. know, I just literally got off tour a couple, mm -hmm. maybe yesterday. So we still had the car. So we're like, okay, let's just drive there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's a great segue. But <laughs> since, what are you, 18 now? Mm -hmm. And you are still in school, mm -mm. Um, college, nothing, just. Mm -hmm. She's free. She's a free woman. <laughs> she, it went. It seems like I heard. What is it? Moon shoes. Mm -hmm. Was it a year, two years ago? That sounds about right. And it just blew up. Yeah. <laughs> How has that been for you? I don't know. It's been definitely an advent adventure. You know, just waking up and seeing so many new people. You mm -hmm. know, catching my music or listening to my music through other people. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so it's definitely weird. But uh, but. It's a humbling moment to see people gravitate to you and your stories, you know? That's the, the rawest part about you is your stories mm -hmm. and, and what goes on in your head. And that's truly what my music is. So when people can connect with that, it means the world to me, you know? Like, okay, I'm not the only weird person out here. Y'all weird too. <laughs> Y'all go through this too, you know? Yes. So that's what music does. It's supposed to connect everybody and unite. So you know? it's like all of your music, real life situations. Mm -hmm. Okay. If it's not my situations, they're mm -hmm people I know, mm -hmm. my mom, mm -hmm. my friends, you know, their situations. Either way, it's real. So when people can connect with that, that, that makes it even more real to me. I love I love the, the feedback that I constantly see. Mm -hmm. And then it seems like your Instagram, your Instagram definitely blew up. Yeah, <laughs> especially being on the tour. Like that's what tour does. Like you're seeing so many new faces a night and they're just like constantly I didn't realize how Instagram. many people our age are on, you know, social media. A lot. <laughs> Even like during the concert, like I see people who tweeted me while I was singing. I'm just like, oh, okay. Does <laughs> so, it ever get yeah. weird? No, I embrace that. And okay. I, I think, you know, rather positive feedback than negative. Mm -hmm. I still get that. But, you know, the positive definitely surpasses the negative. So um, you adjusted, would you say you adjusted to your newfound fame, I guess? Um, I don't think it's ever adjustable. No. Just because you come from, I come from the south side of Chicago, mm -hmm. you know, so it's always going to be weird to me to know that people know me for my music. Um, that's just me being down to earth and like not, mm -hmm. you know, trying to stay level headed. And people around me keep me like that too. I try to keep my day ones around yeah. just so that they can remind me like, girl, you from the South side, <laughs> calm down, you know? <laughs> to humble so, you, exactly, I get it. Exactly, I get it. so I think that's important. Have you always been a singer or did you start off I've always day? been into the arts, okay. but like anybody else, I was very confused about what I wanted to do, so I did everything. I was in dance, I was, I took some acting classes in high school, I took guitar lessons, piano lessons, and then voice was okay. like the last thing. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I kind of like this better than anything else mm -hmm. because this way I'm not just using my body or my fingers, I'm using my voice and words, mm -hmm. which is way more powerful to me, you know? Yes. Um, so. And I was really into literature and English. Ooh. Um, so <laughs> if I was not a musician, I would definitely go into that, you know, so writing. Poetry. Uh, more so, more so like being an author. Ooh, like the author. Yeah, I like That's writing, telling, writing stories. That's you know? awesome. Um, so I was always a person in class like, why are you giving us boundaries? Do not give us a prompt. <laughs> I was that person in literature so, class. They're fun sometimes, depending on. But see, my class is. is called creative writing, and oh, I feel like no. if it's creative you know, writing, why are you giving us prompts in a rubric? You know, mm -hmm. you should just say write, <laughs> or write about this. Uh, but when, don't give when me. When I was in high school, we did stream of thought situations, so mm. we just go on and on and on, see? and that's it. I can go on and on and on though. Okay. Um, back to your music. Um, you said everything was your you know your uh real life situations mm -hmm. and your videos it's not a lot of millennials out here that does visuals mm -hmm. and is that like the most important part 
being able to create songs that you know that you can create a video to or you're just yeah. making stuff um tapping back into the literature field mm -hmm. imagery is always just a big point of mine you know I, I try to stress that in my music mm -hmm. setting the scene setting the tone setting the environment and that way it's way easier for me to create visuals you mm -hmm. know because I'm creating it while I'm writing it. So I always know what the video is or I have a sense of what it would be while I'm writing the song. Um, yeah, I think it's a very important part of making music, especially because some people are visual learners, mm -hmm. not not auditory, you know? Some people need to see it to understand it. Um, that's how I am, I have to see it. Like my mom, this is random, but she uses a GPS mm -hmm. and she has to hear Siri talk. Mm -hmm. I turn that off. I have to. I have to see <laughs> the map. See First the, of all, okay. it kills my vibe and messes up my music. It interrupts it, <laughs> so I turn it off. But I'm just like, girl, like, why can't you just see it and understand it? So, people definitely have different uh, points of understanding, and and um, you want to appeal to everybody. exactly, exactly. Oh, you're so you're a very well rounded artist. I really Thank appreciate you. that about you, and I love your earrings. I've been staring you. at them the whole time. My friend actually makes them. Her name is Mika. Mm -hmm. Um, she's a visual artist. I met her in high school, and she just does weird stuff all the time. Like it's just very random that she makes earrings too. So you, just, you really um, express yourself in every way possible. I see <laughs> your clothes. I try to. Actually, I don't really try to. It's just my it just my personality. That's yeah. great though. That's really great. Thank you. And I saw you were on Rolling Stone. Mm -hmm. that, people say that it's like for older people, but I really no, love the Rolling Stone. I really love that freaking cover it was of classic. you. I love oh, this so you. much and didn't someone someone recreate it uh mm -hmm. the cover for mm -hmm. you and it's I was like this is so oh my goodness I loved it. She looks like the uh the salt girl. <laughs> yeah. Uh what is that salt called? I forgot you know what I'm talking about. In the rain. Yeah it, I don't remember that <laughs> but it's a black it's a black salt <laughs> cylinder. And then I was like is that the actual cover and then I saw the cover I was like this is Thank you. Essence Mag, you've just been on everyone's magazine, mm -hmm. even the local and then the bigger ones. Mm -hmm. It's great. Thank you. Um, you mm -hmm. said that it was great that Red Bull is giving like a platform for all women. You saw that. <laughs> <laughs> we all saw it. So like, how is this a, a humbling experience for you? Like, Definitely. You, or do you feel like people should do more of this? Well, I definitely feel like people should do more of it, but it's a start, you know. Um, as you know, mm -hmm. in any industry, women, especially women of color, are low yes. You know, it's just a known fact, and I complain about it all the time. <laughs> I but more tweets that I wanted to talk to. <laughs> oh, I've been on this. I've been on this free. You probably got a lot written down. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, the most important. Um, you said, uh, well, as a black person, nothing surprised me anymore, mm -hmm. and that was refer obviously referencing to everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. Are you comfortable with talking about that? Like, uh, what you were the, the general background of what provoked that situation? I just think that in a lot of ways we are desensitized, and I am for mm -hmm. sure. You know, a lot of the stuff does not surprise me anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, even though it should, it should be surprising that a black man is shot on the street by a cop and isn't arrested. That should be surprising, but it's not. You know, we see it too much. Exactly. Exactly. So, and it just hurts when I see it on the timeline and like, there's no type of like, <gasps> you yeah. know, there's just a people just retweeting and quoting. Exactly. And like, okay. Exactly. So that's where that tweet uh, okay. stem from. And um, you were talking about blogs, <laughs> and <laughs> girl, I know some people definitely. That was the one that really I've got on, me. I've been on the spree. I've been on the tweet because spree. Because I do blog, but I I really understood what you were talking about mm -hmm. because I have friends that are artists. Yeah. and I'm sure you do too. And when you see people like academics and you know whatever, mm -hmm. they just post the same, the same stuff over <laughs> all day. And it's just like, okay, but there are like 50 artists I can name in my context mm -hmm. who should be on these platforms, you know? It's just really annoying. Like, why am I following all y'all if y'all posting the same stuff a minute after each other? Exactly. You know, why put on artists that are already on? I, I just don't understand the logic mm -hmm. behind blogs nowadays. They're appealing to the, the mass instead of like posting what they what they are passionate about, yeah. you know? There are very few blogs that do that. Um, obviously, y'all, y'all interviewing me, and I don't got <laughs> over 100K followers. So, um, you don't need is your talent, and then of, you have a really big voice. Thank you. And um, 
a lot of people, you're young and then people will gravitate towards you. And you're a really great voice for as young as you are. Mm -hmm. And um, have you always been outspoken or? Honestly? I wouldn't even call it outspoken. You just have really loud opinions that are, <laughs> that are really valid to me. When I saw all the answers, I, I was like, yes. I think I've become more comfortable with mm -hmm. voicing those opinions mm -hmm. over, I don't know, the past year or so. Okay. This has been a gradual, you know, thing. I was not as... It's great, though. Yeah. Because you're using your, the platform that you and have. And that's what I feel. Yeah. Like, okay, people are following me because they want the true me. They want my thoughts. They mm -hmm. want my genuine feelings. I'm like, okay, I'm finna spill it. I'm finna, I'm finna spill all the tea. You know? <laughs> I'm not just finna... I don't know. I just feel like a lot of people with that platform or with followers don't really use it. Okay, selfie's cool, but like, mm -hmm. you what, know? What do you think we need to see more of, I guess? On social media? Yes. Well, in within the artists first. Within the arts? Yes. I would like to see more artists just using their platform for, for good, mm -hmm. you know? There's no reason why this these hurricanes and stuff should be happening and only a handful of celebrities are donating or, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, what's wrong with y'all? Like, the rest of us broke out here. <laughs> we, we would love to donate. <laughs> yes. We would love, like, from the bottom of our heart, we would love to donate, but like, y'all have the power and the influence to, to guide the country, to guide the world, you know? Beyonce can guide the world, literally. President? President. I don't worry about him. <laughs> <But> no. Beyonce <laughs> for president. Right. You can what I'm saying, though? The, There's just so president. much influence with, with, with pop culture. Mm -hmm. And I don't even think they realize how much power they have. Mm -hmm. um, so, if I ever get to that point, mm -hmm. I just know. You seem very that, active now in yeah. this situation. So, I can only imagine when you elevate to a higher level. I just want to do more. I just want to do more for my people, mm -hmm. you know? I just feel like a lot of, a lot of us make it and be like, okay, forget about y'all. You know, I made it, y'all stay down here. And it's just a very selfish mindset and it's not healthy, you know, for all of us. Um, help your people. That's, that's just how I feel. You seem very, you are very open. And um, what your relationships, well, what is it, uh, Smino mm -hmm. and uh, who else? Well, just Nancy Smino. Looker. Oh yeah, Smino, no name. And how did you get like in, in contact with him, you know, people of people, or does um, it just happen at Southwest? Well, the music culture in Chicago is just very closely knit anyway, mm -hmm. so everyone just knows everyone. It's a very weird thing, <laughs> um, but every artist knows who every artist is, mm -hmm. and is very supportive of every artist, actually. Um, and that's where I feel like a lot of my little success came from, them being so welcoming and supporting me when I had no support. You know, mm -hmm. um, they were the ones at my shows and nobody else knew who I was. So, um, yeah, I think that backing has a lot to do with every artist's success in Chicago. And I feel if you want to do music, Chicago is a place. Very supportive. Situation. Chicago is a place you need there. to be, for real. So, don't leave and go to Atlanta. <laughs> go to Chicago. She, she go to Chicago. To it. <laughs> go to Chicago. I really thank you a lot for sitting yeah. and talking to me. I really love your personality. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you made me feel comfortable. It's my job to make you feel comfortable. <laughs> so, that's all we have for today. Okay. I'm Elf Marshall, and this has been a Free Thinkers interview at Red Bull Sound Select. And we're out.